Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can use breakout groups in Microsoft Teams. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that. First off, what are breakout groups? Well, imagine that you're in a school setting, maybe I'm a teacher and I have a class of a bunch of students and we're going through a lecture. And then perhaps partway through the lecture, I want my students to break out into smaller groups where they could carry on a group discussion or maybe they work on a project and then they could rejoin the bigger group at the end. Or maybe you work in a work place and you want to have a brainstorming session and you want people to break up into smaller teams or groups uh, you can do that using Microsoft Teams it requires a few manual steps and I'm going to show you step by step how you can do that sound good well why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can do it here I am on my PC and I have a team that's already set up and I'm gonna pretend that I'm a teacher and I have a number of students and I'm leading a YouTube creation course. Now, let's say I have nine students in my course and maybe I'm gonna start out with a lecture and then I want them to break out into smaller groups and then we'll come back into the larger group at the end. So how do you set up breakout groups? Well, the easiest way to do that in Microsoft Teams is to set up individual channels as breakout groups. And so let me show you what I mean by that. So here I am in my YouTube creation course team and what I'm gonna do is click on the more options ellipses or the dot, dot, dot here. And what I'm gonna click on is add channel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to call this my first breakout group and I'm going to go ahead and add this and so this will add another channel under my team and I could go ahead and let me do this two more times and add a few more breakout groups. Now I've created my three breakout groups. I have first, second, and third. And the way this works is when you click into a channel, what you can do is there's a meet now icon down here. So if I click on that, that will join this breakout group or this channel that I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on meet now. Uh, there I am on the camera, hi everyone. Uh, and so now my camera is turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and hang up for a moment. So what you can effectively do is if you're in a larger, say, group setting and you want everyone to break out into smaller groups, you could simply instruct people, hey, you're part of the first breakout group and you're part of the second breakout group. And you could go around and you could assign people to different breakout groups. And then all those people need to do is they could simply head to that channel. Uh, so in the case, let's say I'm assigned to the first breakout group, I simply go to this channel and then I could click on meet now. And so you could assign people to different channels and they'll head off and they'll go to their breakout group. And then you could tell people when to return to the bigger setting. So what I wanna do now, so that's how individuals can join the breakout group that they're a part of and as long as you assign a breakout group to everyone they can head in that direction let's imagine that you're the teacher and you want to check in on each of the breakout groups now what you could do is I'm gonna go ahead let's join this first breakout group so I'm gonna go ahead join this one and now I'm gonna click back on the teams pivot or option over here on the left hand side so let's click there again and now I'm gonna click on the second breakout group and I can also join this group by clicking on the meet now icon down here I'm gonna click on meet now and this drops me now into the second breakout group now I'm gonna click on teams over here one more time and what I want to do now is I'm gonna join the third breakout group so I'm gonna go ahead let's click on this meet now icon and this will drop me now in the third breakout group now one of the neat things that I can do if I hover over I see all my controls I could very quickly jump back and forth between all of my different breakout rooms so currently I'm in the third breakout room but let's say that the second breakout room needs my help I could click on resume and that'll send me right into the second breakout room and let's say I want to jump into the first I simply click on resume and that'll now kick me off to the first breakout room so let's say that the group sessions are wrapping up I can instruct everyone to return to the main session by jumping in between all these different rooms and then once I'm done in the breakout rooms I could simply hang up and that'll uh, discontinue or end uh, that breakout group for myself and then we could all rejoin uh, the main session uh, that's going on. 
All right, well, that was just a quick tutorial of how you can set up breakout groups in Microsoft Teams. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as some other products like Zoom video conferencing, where you can automatically assign people to breakout groups and then you could close those breakout groups. But I'm sure that now that Zoom has it and some other products are adding it, uh, Teams will likely add functionality like that in the future as well, especially as the competition does it. However, in the meantime, until functionality like that exists in Microsoft Teams, you can use this as a way to create breakout groups and it actually works fairly well uh, and Teams supports it very easily. Uh, anyway, if you were able to successfully set up breakout groups in Microsoft Teams, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future and if you wanna get a notification anytime new videos like this come out, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification. And lastly, if you wanna see any other videos or if you have any other ideas or questions that you wanna see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below, I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.